guys, in this video, you will learn how to turn on email confirmations for the users who register with your application. An email confirmation essentially is an email that is sent to a user who registers, and that email includes a link that the user needs to click to confirm their email address. That link points back to Backendless, and Backendless uh, essentially just enables that user account once they click on that link. Enabling email confirmations is very straightforward using Backendless Console. To do this, you need to click on the user's icon, and then the user registration section is the first one to open. In here, you will see the toggle that says Require Email Confirmation. When you click on that toggle, that's it. Email confirmations are now enabled. And from this point on, any user who registers uh, using Registration API, or even the users that you register uh, directly in Backendless Console, will need to confirm their email address. Let me demonstrate this to you. So I'm going to create a uh, user account. Let's say it is going to be test at backendless.com. The name is test user and some password. So once that account is created, you will actually see in the user status, it says email confirmation pending. And indeed, uh, if I were to check the email for that particular user, there will be an email from Backendless with that link. Uh, user would need to click that link. Alternatively, you as the admin of your application, you can change that email confirmation to enabled. and. Uh, by doing so, a user does not need to click on that uh, link in that email because that account now is enabled. Uh, unless account is enabled, they will not be able to log in and unless they click on that link in the email address. So this is uh, something very important to keep in mind. Uh, but uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. A uh, very straightforward way to configure it and a very effective way to make sure that email addresses of the users who register with your app are indeed